In this point-wise demonstration, I'll be stepping through how to set up the final mesh for a CAE export. This process includes selecting the appropriate solver and setting up the boundary and volume conditions for the case. So let's get started. First thing I'll do is I'll make sure the dimension is set to 3D. I can then go select the solver. One thing to note is that PointWise currently supports 35 different solvers. However, if for some reason your solver isn't supported, PointWise offers a CAE plugin API that allows you to write your own custom exporter. In this case, I'll just select CGNS. I can then go set up my boundary conditions. For this case, I'll have an inlet, an outlet, and a wall. I can now name them inlet, outlet, and wall, and set the boundary condition type. Another thing to note is that the boundary condition types in this drop down menu are solver specific, so they'll change depending on what solver you decide to use. So I can select inflow, outflow, and wall and apply the boundary conditions. So as you can see we have an inlet, outlet, and wall. I can then set up the volume conditions. In this case we'll just have one fluid volume. And now I can apply it. With the boundary and volume conditions set, I can now select the fluid volume and go File, Export, and Export a CAE file.